Hi everyone and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on some of the envelopes that I use inside my folios. I did a tutorial on my for making one of the folios. This is just from an old book cover and I've covered it with scrapbooking paper and some fabrics. And I, what I do on the inside is put some scrapbooking paper and this actually holds a composition book perfectly and I take some envelopes and I make a nice little pocket in the back and I had a couple of people request how I actually make the pockets. Now I did link a video to Bohemian Crafting and she actually does something similar to this um, and she is where I got the inspiration from. So I will put the link again in the bottom of this tutorial uh, but these are just my version of it. Um, there's so many different ways you can add um, something into the back. Now I use these um, large white envelopes. I believe they are approximately five and three quarters by nine and a half. And again, I got them at a thrift store, so um, in a little package, so I didn't actually buy them in the store. Uh, but there's so many different things that you can put in the backs of your um, folios or journals. This is a waterfall um, pocket and this is just made from three white envelopes, mailing envelopes, and you seal the envelope closed and cut off the edge so that it opens and once these are sealed then you actually layer them and you give yourself about an inch on the bottom of each envelope layered on top of one another like that. So there's one inch and then you actually fold the top ones down like so and then you have a you leave another inch there so you have end up with three envelopes folded over and the first three are layered this way and then when you fold them over you want to make sure you follow that same pattern of one inch and then you fold that in half all the way. And then what I did was um, I sewed across the top. So once they're cut open and I've put my scrapbooking on the front because this is going to be glued in this way. And then when I put my first one on the top one and then I sewed it so that it would hold it closed. And then I put my scrapbooking paper on each one. So they're, they're blank on the back. And you can put more on, but it'll just make it bulkier. But that is how you would glue that in. So you'd have all these little pockets. And then I just added some little cardstock and punched the edges and made it fit each individual pocket. So this one has quite a large one in it. And then as they got bigger, this one's a full one, and this one's a full one. And as I got to the back, I just sewed across that one and so I could make two separate pockets instead of having one large journaling card. So this you would just glue in the back of your book and then you would have all these little pockets. So that's one little quick um, waterfall pocket that you could make. And again, they're just simple white mailing envelopes. They're four inches by eight and three quarters, I believe. And you just seal this cut that edge off and that gives you your tuck spot opening and then you layer them. The one inch, one inch, one inch. Fold it down, bone fold that, put your first one on this one and sew it across and then just put the rest of them on. Now I did punch my thumb holes in there before adding the paper, uh, but that's one simple quick way of adding some pockets in the back of a book. So what I did for this one was I took my large white envelope and I've taken one of those regular envelopes and all I do is glue the flap onto the back of the uh, envelope. So when it's sealed down, you won't see that back piece. Um, so this one is this way. It is glued on to the back. And then what I did, um, I measured, I divided it into three and I measured it and then I just opened it up. Pretend this is my open end. I just kind of opened it up and ran some glue on the inside and then sealed it. So I had, I have glue right where these pencil lines are. And I left the pencil lines there so when I put my paper on, I know where my um, 
cards that I have to make to slide into these little pockets, how, how big the card has to be. So when they slide in, I know where my middle lines are. Okay. So that's the, the, the right side. And then I cut my little thumb hole. So I'm going to cover this in cardstock and I'm going to cover this in cardstock. And I may add some more pockets on the outside as well. And then I've taken a normal white envelope that has the V. And because I wanted to be able to get into the envelope, I've just cut it back. Um, I just measured down about three quarters of an inch on either side and then with a pencil just kind of made a line across and then I cut them with my scissors so that it has more of a opening that I could get into. So for this one I'm going to put this so when it closes it's going to be this way. No, it's going to be that way and that way. And then this one will go on the front and this will actually be my closure. So I want to make sure it's kind of even between the flaps. And then what I'm going to do is glue this one onto the back with some glue. And you can use any size envelope. You can use two smaller ones. Um, as your front, you can use another long one. I think I did in my other folios. I used another two long ones. Um, but just got to remember the the more you add to this, the bulkier it will get. The bulkier it will be in the back of your book. And you're going to be adding scrapbooking paper on top of that. So again, you're going to have some bulk there. So that is my basic structure of my pocket. And then I just simply take measurements. So for this front one, it's four and a half by six and a quarter. And I want to make sure that I go in an eighth of an inch. So it's actually going to be four and three eighths, one, two, three eighths wide, and then probably six and one eighth long. And I just grabbed some scrapbooking paper that I had. Um, this was what I grabbed um, from the thrift store, the Value Village, the other day. And I think I'm going to use some of these for my pockets and whatnot. So I'm just going to rip this one apart. So this one, I think I will use this paper on the front. So I know I want to go ahead and cut it uh, probably that four and three eighths wide. So I'm going to start with that. So there's my four and three eighths wide, like that. And then I normally just use my pencil rather than trying to get the exact mark. I will just go ahead and mark, make sure I'm in frame here, I am. Um, I just mark a little mark there and then I will go ahead and cut it on my cutter, which is behind me here on a separate table. So that will go on top of that like there. So I would glue that on there. And then if you want to add a pocket on the front of this, we, we can. Um, I might do that with the pink. But what I do is I get all the basics on and then I start adding pockets on top of that. So that will be the, the one cover and then I'll do another one this way. Now if you want to distress the edges of your envelopes with distressing, I would do that before you glue it all together. I'm not going to distress this one because it's got the white elastic and it's quite light. I'm not going to bother distressing it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my papers on top of the white envelopes. So I'll go ahead and add this one. I have a couple of projects on the go. Um, <laughs> and trying to get ready to go to Scotland. So I'm just, I have stuff all over my desk. I've been tearing apart some of the books that I purchased at the thrift store. Um, I purchased some longer books 
that have nice long pages that I can use to make some pockets and pouches and stuff out of. So I was just tearing those up so I could have them available when I wanted to do a video on making some pouches. So there's my first, the front envelope. That's the one that's going to show and that will be up this way. So then when I flip this over, I'm going to have this one again want to decide what paper you want there. So for this side, I might do, let's see if this is closed. I, don't know if I should do I might do that one on there. So again, I just try and do the front so I can kind of see what the outlook looks like. So this is a four inch envelope. So I only need it to be Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three and seven eighths wide. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that three and seven eighths wide. And then that will go on there. And I think I'm going to leave the pink up at the top. Yes. So again, I'm just going to use my pencil and I'm going to mark where I want to cut it off and I'm going to trim that off real quick. And this one will go on the front of this envelope. So we'll go ahead and glue that on. And it's nice to use the cardstock because the envelopes are quite thin. I find that they make the envelopes thinner and thinner every year. So using the cardstock really gives it some stability and structure. And you want to make sure you get right to your edges. And again, you're going to go ahead and add that on there. So that is the next one, next layer. So I'm just getting the basic layers on to see the coloring of everything. Now for the main envelope, I do have this pink. I might do that for the main envelope. So if I open it up, this one is going to be my main envelope. Okay. Now, in my other tutorial, I took one of the smaller envelopes like this. Here, I'll try this one. And I actually glued it up here. I'm gonna take that flap off so you can see what I'm doing here. I actually glued it up here so that there was another pocket. So there was this pocket, there was a pocket behind here, and then there was this pocket here as well. And if you want to do that, you have to add this pocket on now. Okay, so, or you can put the pink on first. Yeah, I'm going to do the pink on first. And then what I would do, instead of just trying to figure this all out, I would just trim my envelope back and then glue the sides again. And that would be my envelope pouch there. So I would glue this flap back just to give it some structure on the top. Okay, so that's going to go back this way. Like that. So when I tuck something in there, that will be my edge and I'll cut these two off. Now what I might do is put the pink paper on first so it will fill the whole thing and then add my front to this piece and then my inside piece as well. I think probably the best way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Make sure I got it where I want it. Yep. There. So that will sit there and then I will only glue the edges. So I will have a pocket here and a pocket here and then my main pocket there as well like that and then you can glue this on top but I think I'm going to do it this way I think I'm going to do it this way 
So we want a piece that is, we do the thickness first. Hmm. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. Five and six eighths. So we'll cut that to five and six eighths. And again, I'm just going to use my pencil to measure the bottom. Cut that off. So this is the piece that will go on the front like this. Right there. Now, if you want to cut back this envelope top a little bit, which I probably would do. So I'm just going to flip it around here. And I, I'm going to do the same thing I did here. I'm just going to... Go down about, let's see, about half an inch. We're going to go down about half an inch from the flap. And I'm just going to make a line across here. Like that. And then I'm going to go down maybe on a little angle just to give it some. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut this out just so we can get into the envelope from the top. There. I'll flip that back around. So now we can get in there when we want to add something. So I have to cut this. So all I do is slide it inside the envelope. If I can get in there, because I've cut it pretty deep. Like that. And we're gonna pull it up a bit, right to the flap. Like that. And we're gonna cut this. We're just gonna draw a little line here and we're gonna cut that out and that'll give us our shape of our envelope. So we'll cut this on the outside line. And then we're going to cut this little piece off here. Like that. So when we put this on, it will actually follow the same there and I'm just going to grab my eraser and erase my pencil lines here and again if you were distressing you would cut all this and then distress the edges of your envelope already okay so I'm going to go ahead and glue this on I want to make sure I get right to the edges as well right up onto those little some glue on this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. My little, use that or my brayer. I'm just gonna move this book out of the way for a minute here. So there is my front. Now you want a piece of paper on the inside here. So that's kind of where we're getting. And I think for the flap, I'm going to do this material here, which I have over here. Is this wide enough? Woohoo, lucky. Okay, so for the flap, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to lay it down and get an approximate length. 
or you can do it this way. And that's your approximate length there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And I always make it a little bit bigger so that when I glue it on, I can always trim it afterwards. And then we're going to put the glue on the flap. Let me just grab a scrap piece of... Actually, I'll do it this way. I'm going to put the glue on the flap. over lay it down and you have a little a couple of minutes to move it around when it's wet so this is what it will look like when it's closed so those are my mixtures of pinks and then when I glue it onto my the back of my flap here that's what it will look like okay so let's keep going so we're just gonna let this dry a little bit and I'm gonna trim that up little bit off once it's dry. So for inside this flap, I think I'm going to use some of this plain pink paper. And you don't need it very long, obviously. We only need it to go down about an inch. So I'm just going to cut an inch off of this. This just slides inside here. I'm just going to trim that small amount so it'll slide in there better. There we go. So this will actually sit in here up to that fold like that. Okay, so when it's open you'll see this little part. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this. And we're going to slide it in there. And I lift, open up the envelope a little bit to get that in there. And again, you've got a couple of minutes to move it around while it's wet. Like that. So there we go. There's the inside. <laughs> Close. There we go. So that's what it will look like. Okay, so that's glued on. And then for this envelope, if we put it here, again, we want to put something on the inside and something on the outside, and then it will be glued down. So I'm just going to trim up this um, top piece here. Trim this one. that flap done like that okay so we have to decide what we're going to put on and I'm going to wait to the end because I can use any scrap piece on the inside of this it's not as important so I'm going to wait to the end to put that piece on I want to make sure I have enough to cover all of these envelopes first okay so next I think I'm going to add some more of this oh that's not wide enough paper on the inside of this envelope. Yeah. And we don't need it quite that long, but so that will go on the inside like that. Mm 
way so I don't glue it to my other papers. There we go. So now when it's flipped up, it has a paper in the background. Like that. And then we're just going to cover the outside. Let's see what paper should we use. How about that pink? Like that piece. Okay, so we want it to be five and three quarters wide. slightly smaller because I want a little bit of the white envelope to show and again the same thing you're just going to set it oops I see I was afraid I was going to do that you're just going to set it inside the envelope and cut out your shape or draw out your shape and then you can cut it out so I set it in there and then we're just going to cut this out and I cut on the on this side of the line because you you've made it bigger so again you're going to cut on the inside of that line like that so when I glue this on to the front like that that will be my little pocket. I think that's going to be too much pink if I do it. Yes. Stay with your first choice. <laughs> too many options. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to glue this on. I just finished... Um, a course with Mrs. Cogs, uh, online course, her Gojo journals. I just finished watching it and I've been working on some of the journals from that course and I'm trying to get them finished before I go. I'm hoping I can and get them on. Um, now I won't be able to ship while I'm away in Scotland but I'm trying to get them on before I go on May 16th. Okay so there's my pocket. So now I'm going to put some glue on the inside to close this flap closed and then I will put glue on these three sides and that will be my little pocket there. So let's glue our envelope closed. So our envelope is closed and then we're going to glue this on three sides. So down the outside. Actually, something I've learned with some of these envelopes, if you take a damp paper towel or a little cloth and actually rub it on the glue of the envelope when it's, you haven't got this far before you start gluing and everything, um, it will wipe off the glue and then it won't stick to some of your cards when you stick them in there. I always wipe that off when I'm working with these types of envelopes and I'm not actually using the gluey spot, the glue from the envelope. I actually wipe those off with just a little damp cloth and let them dry and then I move forward with the rest of it. So there we go. So we've got that glued on. Just put my lid on my glue for a minute here. So now we have, that's our, what we have so far in our pockets. And I have glue oozing out everywhere. 
Okay, so for this one, I think I'm going to use the florally. I like the, the florals of this one. So we needed about four inches. So let me cut that four inches. Okay. That's going to be that, like that. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to take my pencil and mark where I want to cut. I'll cut that off. So this will go on the outside of this envelope. And once I glue it on, then I'm going to punch out my little holes by what's th from the um, holes that were already punched. So what I'm going to do is actually glue along the bottom of this piece because that's where I want to seal because these go right through. And then I'm actually going to put the glue on this envelope and I'm going to go around my little punch outs like that. And right down to the bottom there and add some glue. That way, if I put a little strip on here, I know I've gotten right to the bottom of this paper. Put my lid on my glue and then move this back into frame here. And this piece will go on here like that. And I want to leave a little bit of room at the bottom here so when this envelope closes, it doesn't get caught on that. go. So I still have my pocket here. I can get my little cardboard in there. And those are my little pockets that we're going to have. And then I just slide this. like that and I'm just going to slide this in here and I'm going to punch that make sure I've got it even here there and there's my little punch so I will do that with the others as well and we'll punch those and then again these will hold have to open them. I usually take my ruler and slide it in and just kind of open it up a little bit more like that. And then these will be for tags here. Okay, so there's that one. Like that. Now we're going to do this side. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do Let's cut that paper on this. I think I'm going to use the plain pink here. Maybe we'll just leave a little bit of that one on there. So again, we want it to be four and a half. And then, so I'm going to put a four and a half first. And then I'm going to measure with my pencil and cut that off. Okay, so there's my outside cover. And again, to get the shape, you just set it inside the envelope. And make sure it's up far enough. And then you're just going to trace the shape. Now you don't have to go all the way down. Oops. You could leave this and go straight across and then just put a little punch hole and that's what I think I'm going to do. 
So let me show you what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna go on the, I wanna go on this side of the line. And then I'm gonna draw this line all the way across. And I'm going to cut this out. go. Don't use any pencil marks. So now when I glue this piece on, excuse me, like this, you still have the, you can still get in it and then I may just punch a little hole, one of these half holes here, and then you can glue that on. Now you want to make sure you glue on the actual envelope because of the cutout there, you don't want to put glue here. So I actually glue on the envelope. Like so. Instead of gluing on the back of the card, and you just want to make sure you get right to the edge. Okay, so put that one on there. Give it a go. And again, we're just going to lay this on top and glue it down. I'll get my brayer and just do a quick bray. There we go. And then we need an inside piece for that. And we only need it to be how deep? maybe an inch and a half. And it's going to be the inch and a half by six and a quarter. So an inch and a half. It's gonna go in the inside of this. Tell where my mark is. That's it right there. Okay. <laughs> Too many little leaves on this. All right. And then this will go on the inside of the envelope. There. Like so. And then when it's closed, that's what it will look like. Okay. So I'm going to glue this piece in. Come back. And you can move it around again a little bit while it's wet. Perfect. So there we go. So now once I get this glued in, I can finish all the little pieces. I can add this piece here and I may add another little pocket here on the bottom, say something like that. And then I can have another little pocket there. I might use this paper because it's got more of the same shading as this. So again, pencil. We can do it that way or we can do it with the lighter pink. I think I'm going to do it this side only because this has quite a bit of a pattern to it. Okay, so let's cut that. So we've got a little pocket there we can add as well. Okay. 
and then I just have to add something on here and then this is where I just go through my scraps and see if I can find something that I've already <clears throat> that might work just because you have to leave a little bit to fold down so I can probably use this little scrap piece because it's on the inside I'm not too worried about it <clears throat> So I'll just put some glue on, I'll put the glue on the flap, that might be better. Then I know I'm getting it everywhere. So go ahead and put that on there. And we'll put our little piece on this way, right to the top of the flap. And make sure it's right to the edges. And again, we'll just get my brayer. So we're gonna let that dry and then I'll trim it up. See, it's starting to get thick, so this is gonna be harder to close. So I think I'm gonna trim this down a smidge. Make it more on the inside. There. So now when I close this, that's better. Like that. Good. Then we're gonna shorten a smidge too. That's better. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this guy on. Again, we can cut a little stamp, punch out of here. Let's just mark the center just so we know where it is. It's a little three and a bit, so that's about the center. Okay. So I'm just going to punch a little hole here. There we go. That looks nice. And again, I have to do these little punched holes here. I'm just going to slide that in there. If it will go in. <laughs> because there's such tiny little pockets, I think I might try that a little off camera. Okay, let's trim this guy up. And then we'll glue it in to the back of the book. And we'll trim this side. There we go. like that. Now I usually will grab uh, let's see if I can find them here. These little velcro strips and I will probably add one to the outside of this just to hold it closed or you can try the ribbon in. Actually, let's try the ribbon. I don't. So when I glue this into the back of the book here like this, and we want it to stay closed, we can use a little ribbon. I've got some sorry silk here. My little basket. Purple, red, I don't know if I have pink, but we'll have a quick look and see what we have. Let's see if that'll work. That goes behind it. So, you glue that on and then you can tie it closed, but I think I'm going to just use my cotton. I think I'm, I keep going back to my, my cotton materials, which are in this. And I think I will use something like this. That one or this one? This one. 
I've just torn up a whole bunch more strips to tea dye. It's an old cotton sheet. We had, we just downsized and moved to a smaller home and we had three spare bedrooms when our kids were home. So we have all these cotton sheets that we, double sheets and whatnot that we don't need anymore. So I just ripped them up and used them for strips. So let's say we use this one. Like that. And then I can tie it close. So I'm going to glue this to the back of this so I know where the middle of it is. Let's see where I'm in there. So it's nine and a half, so four and a half. So right about there is my middle. See the middle of my three thing here and I'm just going to glue that in there like that. So we'll do it from one side. Right there. And glue that on. And this is just to tack it because we're going to glue it again, the whole thing down. There we go. And that will tack that down. Like that. And then when I flip this over and I glue this in, these will be glued in. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now is glue this whole envelope. I'm going to make sure I get under this security envelope as well. To the edges and we'll get under that little ah, we'll do it on the other side all right and then we're just going to flip this around and we're going to place that in here like so So you can either do a tie like this or you can take your Velcro and you place it on the inside of this envelope and then you take your bottom piece and you close it and then when you go like that and you push it down it will stick and that will give you a nice closure as well if you don't want to use the ribbon. So we go ahead and do that and then this will be your closure and again you can Trim this up a little bit and make it smaller. That will be like that. Again, I'll trim it. And that will go, I think that will go nicely with the lace and whatnot that's on the front. And then I say it fits a nice composition book in there perfectly. It's the same encyclopedia book that I used for my other folios. And then if you want to, you can add something onto the front of this as well. You can maybe just take some of the white envelopes. Let me move my, sorry, ribbon out of the way here. <laughs> you could maybe take another one of the white envelopes and you could put it there. And then just put a piece of, say, this, maybe a piece of this pink scrapbooking paper, make a smaller pocket and that would be glued behind it. And then you could lift it out and have a little receipt thingy there. Or you could use a larger envelope as well. Or you could do two smaller envelopes. However you like, or just add an envelope right on to say this was uh, open ends at this, at this side, like this large white one. You could have it where it opens that way as well. Or you could do a waterfall. Again, these are wider. Or you could just add an envelope. This is an envelope that I've made. You could add something this size as well. And this is an envelope that I made. Christina, my pen pal, Christina Bell, sent me a very similar envelope and I made this 
Um, she sent me a link to where she got the inspiration, so it just kind of keeps snowballing back. And uh, you can make something like th maybe this type of an envelope for this side. I might do that actually. So this is this one. We now have our tuck spot here. We have our three tuck spots here. And again, I'll punch those holes out. We have a tuck spot here. We have a tuck spot here. We have one here. And then we have a nice long one here. Now, if you want to, you can use those Velcros to hold this flap down, but it will block this. So I think I'm just going to leave that because when it's closed, it closes up on its own. So there you go. There is one of the pockets. I may actually make this pocket. If you just give me two seconds to gather my supplies and we'll continue on. Okay, so now we're going to make this envelope and we're going to put it on this side and we're going to make it in the pink. So for this pocket we're going to need a 12 inch piece of paper by 8 inches. So we're going to take a 12 by 12 sheet and we're going to cut it 12 by 8. Like so. And then this is the this is going to go on the outside. So we're going to turn it this way and we're going to score it. I'm just going to move this book out of the way. And I'm going to bring my scoreboard in. And we're going to score it at three and I believe it's three and a half. Let me just measure the flap this way. Three and a quarter inches. That's the flap. So we're going to score it at three and a quarter. Right there. And then the bottom flap is three and a quarter as well. So I'm just going to turn it around. Do three and a quarter as well. Like that. So we're going to fold it in at the three and a quarter. And we're going to do this one at three and a quarter. So this is our top flap and I'm going to get my, I'm going to just use my paper punch here and I'm just going to round the corners for the flap. So I know this is my flap, like so. Then we just make so it's going to look like this and then we're going to make two interior pockets and that one is at four inches and that one is at four and three quarters. So we're going to take a piece of paper that is four inches by eight inches and that will sit inside this one like so, like that. And then we take another one at four and three quarters and eight inches and that will go in there like so. So these will be your this will be your pouch and when you open it up and we're going to punch some holes here and that will be your pockets and then we're just going to glue them down the sides and they're all going to fit one inside the other like so. So I'm going to grab my punch and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the middle of 8 inches which is 4. I can just get up here. So there's my center and all I'm going to do is take these two pieces and slide them up like so, like that. Actually, I'll mark down this one, it might be easier. And we are going to punch that together so they will be in the same location, like so. And then I'm going to do the same for this one. I'm just going to slide that up there. I'm going to flip my punch over and I'm going to make sure it's in the same location. Like so. And then when we put them all together, 
they will have the punch holes all in the same spot like so. So we're going to go ahead and glue these in. Before I do that, what I like to do is take, I'm going to close this up and I'm just going to make a light pencil mark on that center of the four inches right here. I'm just going to make a light pencil mark right about there. Okay, and that's my center. And I'm going to take one of these little punch outs that we've just punched and I'm going to set that on that line. And I'm going to tr lightly trace it like so. And I'm going to take my sharp knife. Just going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to cut around, not the bottom, I'm just going to cut around the loop. So I'm just going to take my sharp knife, and I probably need to change the blade in this, so. Bear with me here. And I'm just going to go around this. Okay. Get in there. And get my knife back in the hole. There we go. And I'm going to turn it a bit. And I'm just going to make it so that it goes all the way down to there like that and again I'll just get my eraser and mark my, erase my pencil marks so you have a nice clean eraser it doesn't leave marks there we go okay so now we have a little flap there. So when I put these in here like so, and they're glued all together, when I bring this down, I can slide that underneath. And that's my little, we'll hold my pocket close. So let's go ahead and glue these in. And I'm gonna start with the back one. Just putting glue along the outer edges. You don't have to worry about the bottom because the little fold up will stop it from coming out. And I'm just going to do that like so. And I'm going to do my second pocket. Slide him in there, keep my flap bent up so that I have it right. And this guy out of the way. And it will ooze at the side. I usually ooze it all over my scoreboard, but <laughs> there we go. And then we just glue the last flap up along the edges like and that is your little envelope that you can now glue in the other side of your wheel. So I'll put some glue on the back of this. Now, if you don't want to and you want to make a pocket, I will try that. I will put enough glue around the outsides to hold it down. But if I don't, oh no, I did it the wrong way, didn't I? No, I didn't. <laughs> Second guessing myself. There we go, like so. I can still tuck something in there. 
and I've put enough glue, I put about an inch worth of glue along the outsides just to hold this down because it's fairly thick scrapbooking paper. But this will just tuck in now into the little, like that. And now that it's glued in, I have a little tuck spot here as well that I can use if I want to. And that is my little pink folio. And again, it will, you can put your, your book in here. This is another one I've made, but you can put your book in here under the elastic, your folio, and then just close it. And I normally keep it so that the, the knot is at the bottom of the book. So there you go. There's a little pocket on the front. Has a little tuck spot behind. And then this one as well. And that is a new little folio. Now I'm also working on another one. Another folio. Um, I've done this one. And I'm just putting some papers on the inside. I think I'm going to put them in this way. So I'll put these papers as my inside pages like that. And then I will probably make a couple more envelopes to put on the inside as well. Similar to the other one there. So those are the two folios I'm working on. And I will finish those up. And I will post these on my Etsy shop. Um, the other thing I'm working on are the Gojo's from Mrs. Cog's course. And these are little mini, mini journals. And they're not sewn together yet. They're still under construction, but they are four inches by four and a half inches by an inch and a half wide. And they have four signatures and they are just stuffed. I think it has like 264 pages or something like that. But I'm just working on them now. They're not sewn together. Um, I'm just working on the pages, putting the pages together and sewing them in and putting the inside um, covers on. But I have six of these on the go. It was really fun making the covers, but then having to put the papers together, it's taken me a little while. So I have this one with McCall's, this one with Queen Soap. This one has a little birdie nest. This one has another little birdie nest and some flowers. And this one has a sewing machine ad. And they all have a sewing, um, all the digitals are a sewing theme. Um, I just happened to be able to print on my tea stained paper when the paper was a smaller size. It seemed to go through my printer better. So they all have like a tea stain, or sorry, a sewing. Thingy. So I'm working on those and I will get those all finished. And I'm hoping to finish them before I get to Scotland and get them on my Etsy shop. But again, I will probably close my Etsy shop while I'm in Scotland. Um, I don't believe my husband will want to ship stuff out for me. So um, I will get them, try to get them done and get them on my Etsy before I go. Anyway, and that is the tutorial for the envelope pouches. Um, I do have some other ideas for some little bags. This I saw on, this is out of sheet music. And these are little bags. I was going to do a tutorial on some bags that I have and then some added some little folded papers that you can sew into the center of your journals. This is just scrapbooking paper with lots of little tuck spots here and there. So it has three tuck spots per page and then this would just be sewn into your journal. And this is scrapbooking paper so it's thinner paper. You could use book pages as well. Um, but that's another one I'll do a little quick tutorial on as well. So anyway, that's um, it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it wasn't too long. Um, and again, I will try and have one more before I go. But I am leaving May 16th to the 23rd. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you subscribe to my channel.